All right, happy Friday, ladies and gentlemen. This is a Photoshop tutorial, and these are three things you should do to every single one of your Photoshop images, or rather, just images in general. So, start, let's go to Filter, and Sharpen, and that's gonna sharpen it up. You gotta have this video in high res to see that take effect, but this is before, this is after. And then it'll save that filter so I can just Apple F every time and I can keep sharpening that if I want to. Gets that real nice hard sharp line action going on. I don't want two sharpens, I just want one. So that's the first one, that's the second one, that's the one I'm going to keep. The second thing you're going to absolutely want to do is go to Image, Adjustments, Shadows, Highlights. Bam! Now you can play around with this dialog box and get that get that working how you want. The first one is the shadows, how much your shadows are going to pop or rather highlight and then how many and then you go lower and you got your highlights and this is how much your highlights are going to going to be filtered. So I liked I like the highlights all the way on that end. These shadows are actually looking great when they're cranked up like that. You don't want to do it too much or it's going to distort the image but something like that's good. Done. Last thing you want to do is good old blur tool. So you want to give your image a focal point. For me it's kind of the paddle and the jacket. So I'm going to make this brush nice and big and I'm going to blur out and I've got a strength of 36 here. Let's be subtle. Let's go to like 20. And I'm just going to like kind of blur. I'm doing multiple clicks and drags. I'm going to blur these edges a bit. Just so the eye is drawn more to the center of the image. If I blurred that like crazy you're going to see the effect more more radically. This is a crazy blur here. And you know what? That doesn't look so bad, but it feels like we're in a miniature kind of toy chest when, when or like a, a toy box or a toy diorama or something. When it's that blurred, you're going to start feeling like this stuff is shrunk down. So we don't need it that blurred. So let's step back to a few blurs ago, and something like that might be nice. And we're going to save it out, and those are the three things. Thing one is, if I can remember, it's sharpen. So filter sharpen or here sharpen. Thing two, image adjustments, shadows and highlights. And thing three is create your focal point by blurring the other parts of the image. It's not always gonna be in the center, sometimes your focal point's over on the side, but blur the stuff you don't want somebody to be looking at and it'll give that nice depth of field and it'll feel cool. If that video was helpful, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up. Thanks.